Hey, borderline Uper. I know I haven't uh, made a video in a while, but uh, got another project with the camper. I added this bike rack on here with this bolted on hitch around this frame. And being that the bike rack puts a lot of stress on it, as you can see here, this is starting to tear out the bumper. So, what I got to do is take this whole bumper off and reinforce and re-weld this plate back on here or maybe try to do something different i don't know yet i haven't gotten that far but i gotta take all of this off all the bolts here and the spare tire there's too much weight hanging and twisting on that square tube causing it to rip off so gotta replan redo it i know i've seen it lots on other campers for a bike rack so but I guess this is another how I done it video instead of a how to do video. Well, I got the spare tire off. Probably the majority of the weight. I think I'm going to just leave this bolted on here. Unless I have to take off. But I figured with the spare tire she'd be pretty heavy to remove. So, get to taking those bolts off in there. Oh, let's see what size would they be. Too big. 5 eighths. 9 sixteenths it is. I don't think they intended these to hold much. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think the head stripped out on me. No. It did too. There's no way to hold that in there. On these campers, usually people put their waist lines inside of these square tubes. Which there is one in here. Well, look at that. I ended up buying one. But there is one in here. And it's stuck. What I usually do with my waistline is I roll it up in a five gallon bucket and stick it in the camper. I don't know if I had more light, I could show you what it was doing inside there, but I don't have enough light. I don't know if this is going to do the same thing on the top. I don't think I'm going to get this bottom one though. I think he just stripped. Well, let's see what the other side does. Well, that side came off. Bunch of washers. Seems like that's welded on there pretty decently. You know, all the way up and down the side. And all the way on the inside, so I didn't go nowhere. But you can see here, this was starting to rip out. So that's what we have to address. Now you can see probably a little better at what it was doing. So putting the pressure on it, able to get the bolt to come out, but I don't want the thing to drop on my arm either. So I put some boards and blocks underneath it. See if I can't not hurt myself. Look at that, safety first. Bumper is free. So you can see the metals tear in here. So what I think I'm gonna do is take some angle iron and weld it into here over the top of this. Granted, that's a nice square hole for my, I don't know how I'm gonna get a new square hole unless I just use bolts and bolt it straight through in there and the problem in lies I gotta get my arm inside here to hold those bolts that's gonna be the trick otherwise I don't know how I'm gonna cut a square hole into it think about that one persuasion instrument out here I don't know maybe this one ain't big enough but I'm gonna tap that metal back down so we can weld it weld it up and then end up I'm gonna add it some more metal to it to kind of reinforce it but I gotta get this straightened out intact, so see what we can do. Bigger persuasion instrument. 
See what this baby can do. Not much going on there. I guess it flattened it down some. Might just have to take a C clamp and clamp it and pull it in. See what this baby can do. No, that worked much better. How did I do that in the first place? Much, much better. I'm gonna have to take the grinder though first and get this paint off before I weld.
old Lincoln welder out there. Gas power, nine horsepower Kohler. Works pretty good. I'm not the greatest welder in the world, but I mean, I got her uh, welded up on there pretty decently. It's gonna do a little grinding here on the bottom to smoothen it off, and then we'll put the angle iron on top of that to support it some more to give it more structure back in here. Keep this from twisting off, because only this little piece here isn't enough. So I got angle iron I'm gonna cut, wrap around this, and weld it on there for more support. That side, except for the bottom, it's a little rusty and harder to get going to weld, but that actually turned out pretty nice. I do say so myself, for a guy who doesn't weld very much, that's really pretty. So, do my dad proud, but that's all welded on there. I'll grind that down, and then we'll cut my angle iron. Well, as you can see, I made some angle iron to reinforce this, and I got it partially welded on there. You can get no video of me cutting the angle iron and stuff, but cut the angle iron, drilled the holes in it, bolted it on here so that the holes line up for the square stock when I go to bolt it back on the trailer. See that side is all welded up. Now I gotta weld this side, but I'm gonna have to do some, ooh that's warm, grinding here, get some better, cleaner metal so that uh, I have a good clean surface to weld on. Then we gotta repeat this on this process down here on this end. This is all not welded, but Continue working on it, reinforce, get a little more metal to grab onto instead of just one little corner. Hopefully that'll hold the bike rack on the back of the camper. Good old Lincoln welder, keeps trucking. Safety first. It's pretty crude, but I'm not the most fanciest welder in the world, but it doesn't look too bad. It'll hold, that's for sure. Well, hopefully that'll reinforce it. Crude, but I got a lot more surface area to hold on to that metal bumper now, so all the way around here. So hopefully that'll hold this thing on better. Time to do the other side. Well, I got her all welded on there. Said I'm not the prettiest welder in the world, but I got it welded on. Take the bolts out, grind it all up, clean it up, let it cool, throw some paint on her. Like I said, that old trusty, rusty, uh, it's not rusty, but the old trusty Lincoln welder here. The big old polar engine on it. Looks like a jam. Thank my father-in-law for that one. Well, it's not mine, but I'm using it. Well, there it is, all shiny and painted up. Bolt it back here on the camper. Shiniest thing on the camper, no. Looks too shiny. There it is, shiny, painted up, reinforced bumper. 
hopefully that'll hold the weight of that spare tire and hold the weight of our bikes it'll have to do a lot of ripping and pulling now a lot of reinforcement well i appreciate you watching this video and uh i hope this how i done it video helps somebody else out borderline youper out